Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video we are going to add a new user and assign a role to that particular user and even the remove the role assignment. So let's go ahead and do that. So before that let us uh, know about the appearance as well. So if you want to change the appearance of this uh, dashboard you can also go to the settings and appearance and you can uh, change the thing that you want to. So in this case I can also uh, lock this thing so for that I just need to apply so it has been locked so let me keep it the same way so to create a new user we have to go to Azure Active Directory so let's go ahead and go to Azure Active Directory go to the users uh, in this add a new user so I have told about uh, inviting the user. So let's go ahead and create the user now. So in this case, let it be test, test one. And uh, name of the person is test. And let me create a password. So Okay. So I've just copied this password uh, in my notepad as well, so that if I want to log in, uh, I can use this password. So let uh, let us leave this uh, default and let us go and create. And uh, it has been created. So let's go ahead and search for the test. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh it may take few seconds for that there you go so as you can see uh, the test uh, user has been created so to assign that uh, roles just click the user so you can get the information of the user here and in the left side you can see the assigned roles just go ahead and click that So here just click add assignments and here you can select the role. So there, there are different roles. So uh, select the role that uh, that particular user is eligible for. So let me give a reader role. Let us say a reader. So I think uh, everything is good let's go next so as you can see there are two different options eligible and activate so basically uh, if a user has been given uh, a made eligible for the role that means they can activate the role when they need that particular uh, privilege task or privilege assignment so for this eligible the user uh, will explicitly request uh, request for that only at that time it will be activated uh, on the other hand if you consider the activate so by default uh, it will be get activated and you can also give permanent uh, eligible eligibility for that particular user to this role or there is a time limit here as well so in this case uh, let me okay let me change it uh, just keep it default and let's assign the role so the role has been assigning so let's go ahead and refresh since we kept it in the eligible so it will be in the eligible so you can see it the person has been already created you can also update it and you can also extend the time if you want so let's go ahead and update and uh, you can change here to active and if you want to uh, change uh, the time limits you can go ahead and do that and when you click the activate you just need to enter the justification for that so in this case I'll be telling uh, authorized user so that's reason I'm giving the permissions so that is what the difference between the eligible and active assignments so for the eligible uh, the user need to ask the admin so we'll be uh, getting the, this particular prompt Whereas for active, by default, we'll be giving the uh, user the permission. 
so let me check everything and i think everything is good let's go ahead and save it got saved so it is disappeared here and you can just see it in the act active assignments let's go ahead and refresh this there you go so this is how you can uh, assign certain roles to the user in this case i have given the user the reader permission you can go ahead and give the, any other uh, permissions that you want and you can also delete the assign assigned role so just click the remove here and just click yes so it has been uh, removed so you can just go ahead and refresh it so to see that it takes some time so you can see let's go ahead and remove once again you can see the error since it has already been deleted but it's not a update there you go you can say uh, it has been removed uh, from the assigned role so this is how you can uh, reassign the role for that particular user and you can also delete the user so in this case let us try to delete the user as well so just select the user and uh, delete the user you can go ahead and delete this way so this is how you uh, you can assign the you can you can create a user and assign a particular role to that user and and update the update the uh, roles if you want to so hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, adding new user and assigning the roles and even removing the role assignments so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys